Welcome everyone to this video. Today we're going to talk about how to increase privacy and security here in Mozilla Firefox. And to get started, we're just going to click on the menu in the top right, go down to help and click on about Firefox. And this will just confirm that we are up to date. Updates are very important because they include security updates, performance improvements, and even new features. We can see we are up to date. So we're going to close this and click on the menu and go down to settings. And you will notice right away there is a privacy and security section. But before we go there, we're going to click on search. And by default, it's going to be set to Google. I would recommend getting off of Google because they are not a privacy oriented company. I wouldn't even use Bing either. At minimum, I would use DuckDuckGo. There are other options, but this will help increase privacy when doing web searches. Also, if somebody else has access to your computer, you may want to consider turning these suggestions off because these are based on what you're doing in your browser. So again, if someone else has access to your web browser and you don't want them to know what you're doing, uncheck these options. Next, we're going to privacy and security. And most of what we need to increase privacy and security will be found in this section. Starting from the top, we have enhanced tracking protection. And at minimum, I do recommend that you use the standard option here. I would give the strict option a try, but one thing to be aware of, this can cause websites or parts of websites not to load or work properly. I usually only notice this problem when a website is trying to post something from a social media account or website such as Instagram, Twitter, stuff like that will sometimes not load, but I don't really care about those things. And so for me, strict is what I use and I would recommend it as well to you if privacy is your top priority. Scrolling down, we have the send websites a do not track request. I would set this to always, but keep in mind, they are not required to respect this and a lot of websites don't. So don't be surprised with that. Continuing down, cookies and site data. Cookies are used to track users. You can set it to delete cookies and site data when Firefox is closed. And if you check this box in combination with, and I'm kind of skipping ahead here, if you set this to never remember, Basically, this option and this option together, you've essentially turned it into private browsing for your standard window. But I think the better option is just be mindful of when you need to use a private window. Or you could even check this box and just manage exceptions as needed. You can also clear cookies here if you would like to do so. Continuing on, we have logins and passwords. Now, generally speaking, I don't recommend storing passwords in your web browsers because time and time again, this has been shown to be problematic when it comes to hackers. And so the better option is to store them in a dedicated password manager. But if you're going to ignore that warning, at minimum, check the use primary password, formerly known as the master password to help protect these login credentials. So again, make sure you check this box if you're going to store them in your browser. Continuing down to forms and autofill. Again, if privacy is the top priority here, you want to uncheck both of these boxes. Yes, it's convenient to have them here, but it is a privacy concern. If you're going to store your credit cards, absolutely check this box. But again, I recommend unchecking all of these. We already touched on history. You can set what it does here. If you'd like to change it from remember, you can also clear your history from this window. And then address bar suggestions, just similar to what we talked about earlier. If someone else has access to your computer and you don't want them to know what you've been doing in the web browser, you may want to uncheck all of these options. Or if you're someone who remembers to use a private browser, it may not be a concern for you. It just depends on how you are using the browser. Stuff like this where it says improve suggestions based on sending your searches to Mozilla, you know, that comes down to whether or not you trust Mozilla with that information. Yes, you'll get more relevant searches or search results, but it comes at the cost of privacy. Continuing down, clicking this will just take us back to search. We already touched on that, so we're going to skip that. Permissions. In short, double check all of these, but I would absolutely double check to see what is accessing your location or your camera or microphone. These are super sensitive, these top three. And so again, double check those. I would even consider checking this box to block new requests. Again, if privacy and security is your top priority, and then I would leave these boxes checked as well. Continuing down to data collection. So 
This is helpful for Mozilla as far as improvements. The web browser will become better over time as they collect data. But again, it comes back to do you trust Mozilla with your data and information? If privacy is the top concern here, uncheck everything. And then going to security. So this one has a catch. Checking all of these will absolutely improve security on this web browser for sure. But if I click on learn more, we'll notice if we search for Google, this feature is powered by Google's services. And Google, again, is not a privacy oriented company. And so, yes, it will increase security at the cost of privacy. You're going to have to decide what is most important to you. If you're someone who trusts yourself not to go to a deceptive website, you may want to uncheck these. You're going to have to make that decision. And then certificates, just leave that checked. HTTPS only. It's really nice to have this. Wasn't that long ago where you had to use a third party extension to get this feature, but now it's here native in the browser. I would always recommend enabling it on all windows and then continuing down DNS over HTTPS. This is a relatively new section that Mozilla has added. You can get the definition here. At minimum, I would use the default, but I would give at least the increased protection a try uh, if you'd like to increase security and privacy, or maybe even the max. There is the risk of websites not loading correctly. I haven't noticed a lot of issues. It, I have seen a couple, but by and large, hasn't been a problem. If you're worried about it, try the increased protection. You can select the provider. I think the average user is fine with Cloudflare, but the privacy community out there may recommend other alternative options that you can research and add in here underneath custom. Next, let's click on sync. Now I'm not syncing anything and that is for top privacy. You have to keep in mind when you sync by default, you're syncing everything from bookmarks to history to credit cards or addresses, passwords. And so if you're syncing that to another device and that device becomes compromised, well, now they have access to all that data. The best thing you can do is not sync anything, but of course that comes at the cost of convenience. And so if you are going to sync your data, make sure that whichever devices are being synced, that you take measures to secure every single device. You can also, when you are signed into sync, it will give you options to customize what specifically you're syncing. So if you wanted to limit it specifically to just settings or just bookmarks, you can do that. Now down here, extensions, We'll make sure we have the extension category selected. Now, anyone here familiar with my channel knows that I generally do not recommend that you use extensions with your web browsers because it is a common avenue for attack. It's a big privacy and security concern, but there might be some exceptions you might want to make from time to time. Uh, one you may want to consider is Facebook containers. This one is from Mozilla. You could scroll to the bottom, click on find more, click on extensions and then privacy and security. If you are going to install additional extensions, make sure that they are recommended. But again, going back to my original comment, I generally don't recommend extensions just again, because it's a privacy and security concern. Even if it's a legitimate extension, once they become popular, they become a target. And a lot of what you see here can now be done natively within the browser. I might go ahead and make an exception for a, you know, a password manager, in fact, I probably would uh, suggest making an exception for your password manager, but just be careful. Use common sense before installing any extensions and don't install all of them because you get diminishing returns and it just becomes more and more of a security and privacy risk the more you add. Now, after all of that, there is another option, LibreWolf, which is a custom version of Firefox focused on privacy and security out of the box. And so you can download and install this uh, web browser. In fact, I have it right here. It's very, very similar to Firefox. It's just out of the box, prioritizing security and privacy with a little bit more of a lean towards privacy. It is free and open source. And so there are real benefits to using this browser. I think the average user will probably want to stick inside just the regular Firefox web browser, but just want to make sure that people know that this is an option research it and see if it's right for you. That's everything for this video, but if you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, the thanks button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. 
Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.